Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to my Blu-ray collection update video for March 2020. We are currently living in very strange times so um, even though I've got a decent amount because right up until Thursday last week I was still allowed to work at the office where I work so um, during my lunch breaks and stuff I tended to go around the shops and have a look for Blu-rays, boxes, all that kind of stuff. So right up until Thursday last week I was still doing lots of little bits of shopping here and there when I had the time. So I've got a decent amount of Blu-rays um, but um, I haven't done and won't be doing any shopping for the rest of this month. So I shall show you what I've been buying so far this month um, and the first one I got is probably one that many people will be adding into their collection this month and that is Terminator Dark Fate. criminally underrated this film it was hijacked by the keyboard warriors and the so-called fans of the franchise that didn't enjoy it but I actually really really enjoyed that film I thought it was a shame it didn't do well at the box office but that is just one of those things now the next thing I picked up and I've been having had my eye on this for a while it's one of my favorite horror films from the 1970s it is the invasion of the body snatchers Arrow Blu-ray. I really like the Arrow releases. It's got mountains of extras on it. And it comes with the, the, the Arrow ones all come like there. Reversible sleeves. Um, I like them both. I think this is a brilliant, brilliant horror film. The Donald Sutherland one, Leonard Nimoy. Um, very very good it's one of those that I grew up on um, and I found it very very scary and I think personally this is the best version of this story next one another horror never actually seen this but I have heard an awful lot of it and it's Mike Flanagan's Oculus looking forward to watching this actually I've always wanted to check it out I've just never had time or oh, chance, not time, I suppose. So I'm going to give that one a go. I think Mike Flanagan is a very, very good horror director. Now, this next one was very cheap, and I thought I would pick it up, and I'm going to get the first one as well. It is like the reimagining, re... I don't know, remakes of the Kickboxer films. And this is the second one, Kickboxer Retaliation. I think the first one was Kickboxer Vengeance, and it was one of the very first films I ever reviewed on this channel. And it was the first film that I linked up with Geek Legion of Doom on. Because I remember asking him to check out my review, and he did. And that's when we first started chatting and stuff. So it, it's nothing special, this, at all. But it is um, a bit of a fun martial arts film, I suppose. But it ain't nothing special. The next one I've picked up is This Is The End in the sleeve. Seth Rogen. James Franco, Danny McBride, end of the world comedy, very very funny, I like Seth Rogen as you know if you follow this channel, I like a lot of his comedies. Mel Gibson film next, really enjoy this film as well, Edge of Darkness, Mel Gibson, Ray Winston, this, is, this was initially a BBC drama many years ago. And it was turned into like an action thriller with Mel Gibson. Very successfully, I think. I think this is a very, very good film. Got this. It was very cheap. And I enjoy them. And I'm going to pick them all up. And that is Jackass 3. So I'm going to pick up the other two. There are, there are rumours that they are going to do another Jackass one. Not sure if the bodies will be able to keep up with it now. Because they're all getting on a bit. Especially Johnny Knoxville. But... They are certainly fun. It's, I used to love Jackass and Dirty Sanchez, the, the British version of Jackass, if you like, years ago. I used to watch them all the time. Another one I haven't seen, but it's got a good cast. Elijah Wood, Rain Wilson, Alison Pill. Um, and if I'm right in thinking... I don't know. I thought Elijah Wood might have directed this, but I was wrong. Maybe... 
cooties, cooties, whatever you call it, is an American word really, we don't really use that word in the UK. Like a comedy zombie type film where the kids turn into like zombies, I think. Not seeing it, looking forward to check it out. I like a good horror comedy, if they're done right, and that's got a good cast. Another film I've only seen this once and I remember being really shocked and quite impressed by it. And that is The Fourth Kind. Um, a remarkable movie that boggles the mind. Um, it's, it, it's a bit of a mix mismatch of a film. From what I remember, it's a bit like a found footage documentary style film. Um, but very effective from what I remember. I remember being quite shocked with some of the footage in it. So I'm looking forward to trying that out again. I haven't watched it for a while. One of my favourite comedies now. I went to the cinema to see this with my wife when it came out. Wedding Crashers. Vince Vaughn now tends to be moving more into dramatic roles. But he's got great comedy time. And him and Owen Wilson always work well together. Dunkirk, Christopher Nolan's film. Super impressed with this film. Very, very good. Enjoy it. This is another one I haven't seen, and I um, this was recommended to me. And it's one of, of Kevin Bacon film, and it's Death Sentence from the director of Saw. So it's a James Wan film. So it's one of those in his filmography that I wasn't really aware of and I hadn't seen before. So it's going to be an interesting film to watch. One of his early ones, obviously, in his career. And the last ones I picked up were, well, you got you can pass them as box sets. Um, and they were really super cheap, and I've not seen this show, well, apart from the first season. Um, and I thought I would pick up uh, what they had in the store, and I, I will get around to watching these probably after I've finished watching Supernatural with my wife. We're currently on season seven, so we've got some way to go, I know, but we might watch this after. And that is The Walking Dead. So this is the season I saw, the first season. And I didn't mind it, I thought it was okay. Plenty of uh, places to go, I thought the show was alright. I'm not a huge fan of the zombie genre, generally speaking, unless they do something new with it. Um, so obviously now I've got the second season. And these were so cheap. Um, I think the first one was like £1.50. Second season was two pound. The third season, which is a bit of a thicker box set, this was something like might have been two pound as well, something like that. And then the fourth season, which is this one, was I think maybe three pound. I mean, very cheap for what? I mean, is it sixteen episodes? I know the first season isn't yet sixteen episodes. The first season didn't have that many, and the second season had not as many as these. I think the third and the fourth are 16 episodes. So yeah, I um, I will get around to checking these out. It's supposed to be a great show. Um, so that's all I picked up, but that's all they had in. Obviously someone had brought in the Walking Dead collection, um, and they were so cheap I thought, well, I'll, I will put them in the collection. And if I do enjoy it, the scope there for me to pick up the rest of the box sets as and when I see them. So that's everything that I've picked up for the month of, month of March 2020. A bit of a uh, reduced update there for obvious reasons. Um, thanks for watching everybody. Please let me know in the comments, especially if you self-isolate or anything like that, if there's any content you would like me to focus on while you're at home. Please do take care of yourself, take care of your family. Have these strange times for everybody. And of course, I will see you for loads more content and screen stars and more stays. Thanks for watching, everybody.